Lesson 3 The Terrain Editor Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today we are going to focus on how to create grass in your terrain. Join us as we cover the last features of the Terrain Editor. Step 12. Paint grass on terrain. Now that you have covered your terrain with trees, is now time to create grass on it. Unity allows the terrains to have grass clumps and other small objects, such as rocks, covering its surface. The grass is rendered using 2D images, while other objects are usually standard meshes. To add grass to the terrain, select your terrain object from the hierarchy. On the inspector, select the sixth button. As usual, the list of detail objects that you can paint on your terrain is initially empty. To add a detail object to your list, click on Edit Details, Add Grass Texture. This will open a window where you can set several of the properties of your grass. On Detail Texture you can define the texture that you are going to use for your grass. You can also define the max and minimum width and height. You can also change the noise spread parameter of the grass. Finally, you can set a healthy color and a dry color for the grass, as well as set the billboard option on or off. For our terrain we will leave the default options. Click on the circle in front of the detail texture field. This will open a new window. Select the grass texture file. Now click on add. As you can see, you can now paint grass onto the terrain. If you want to add a mesh to paint detail on your terrain, for example, rocks, click on the edit details, but this time choose add detail mesh. This will open a window where you can specify several parameters of the detail mesh. You can define the mesh, the noise spread, a random value for width and height, and a healthy and dry color. You can either set the render mode to vertex lit or grass. If you click on the circle in front of the detail field, this will open a window where you can choose a mesh. Since we only have tree meshes in our project, those are the ones that are going to show up. If you have a mesh of a rock, you can select it and add it, just like you did to the grass. Just like in the trees, you can use several brushes to paint the grass. You can set different brush sizes, change the brush opacity and the target strength. If you move your mouse to the scene view, the blue area around the mouse indicates the affected area by your brush. To edit or delete any detail from the terrain, go to Edit Details on the Inspector and select Edit or Remove. Use this tool to paint grass in your terrain. Step 13. Terrain Properties Finally, the last button on the Terrain Script component allows you to modify some base parameters of the terrain itself. On the Base Terrain section, you can modify the pixel error value. 
This value is the accuracy of the mapping between the terrain maps and the generated terrain. The use of higher values indicates lower accuracy, but lower values will result on rendering overhead. The base map distance is the maximum distance at which terrain textures will be displayed at full resolution. You can set shadows on or off. Define a default material for the terrain, as well as a default physics material. Under the Terrain and Details Objects section, you can set the draw of the details on or off. The detail distance is the distance from the camera beyond which details will be culled. The detail density is the number of detail objects in a given unit of area. The tree distance is the distance from the camera beyond which trees will be culled. The billboard start is the distance from the camera at which 3D tree objects will be replaced by billboard images. The fade length is the distance over which trees will transition between 3D objects and billboards. Finally, the max mesh trees is the maximum number of visible trees that will be represented as solid 3D meshes. Moving on to the wind settings section, on speed you define the speed of the wind as it blows grass. The size is the size of the ripples on grassy areas as the wind blows over them. On bending you set the degree to which grass objects are bent by the wind. And on grass tint, you select the overall color tint applied to grass objects. The last section is resolution. Here you can define the terrain width, length and height. The height map resolution is the pixel resolution of the terrain's height map. It should be a power of 2 plus 1, for example, 513, where 512 is a power of 2, and you add 1. On detail resolution you set the resolution of the map. Higher resolutions will give you smaller and more detailed grass patches. The detail resolution per patch sets the length and width of the square of patches rendered on a single draw call. The control texture resolution is the resolution of the splat map that controls the blending of the different terrain textures. Finally, the base texture resolution sets the resolution of the composite texture used on the terrain when viewed from a distance superior to the base map distance. Note that if you modify any values on the resolution section, all detail you created on the terrain so far will be deleted. All modification to the terrain resolution should be done before modifying the terrain by add-in details. This concludes the lesson 3 of our Unity introduction course. Note that in order to attain the results you want with the terrain tools, you need to practice. This will get you familiar with the different brushes and definitions of the terrain game objects. Please. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.